Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Amber Dreadnoughts, where we're going on to the next turn, which I should have done before I pressed record. Um, but it's not too bad, because the Yorick, <laughs> once again, has found some targets. The Edgar, the Grafton, the Newcastle, and the Martin. She's killed heavy cruisers before, she's killed a light cruiser before, she's killed a destroyer before, I think. Maybe not, actually. But... Uh, the Royal Navy continues to try and eliminate the Auric. Not silly enough to send a uh, battleship or a battle cruiser after it, for obvious reasons. Because they tend to die horribly. Uh, plan. Um, kill the light cruiser and the destroyers. Um, as just as soon as possible, uh, and then we shall finish off the heavy cruisers at our leisure. <laughs> Well, Yorick hasn't used that much ammunition because she she she's probably fired like a hundred a hundred rounds from her main guns total. Like she she's she's just absolutely wrecked uh, enemy ships. Yeah, I, I I I reckon you're right, boy. They they know they shouldn't deploy a uh, capital ship against the Auric because it will die horribly. That must be a light cruiser if it's taking damage like that. As in getting parked up in. Come on. You really need to hit those things. Auric, very, very close. That's alright. Get out of the way. Newcastle has fired. In a circle. We're going to go back to auto. And we're going to absolutely destroy it. Come on. Two overpins. No floodings. What I'm after. There you go. Slow it down. Let's just fight again. Turn more. Didn't do very much though. I didn't do very much at all, which is excellent news. I'll be from the destroyer. Should be this. Where was that going? <laughs> uh, what are my shell types for this? Um, nose few. Well, depends, but. Yeah. Um, two powder standard cat ballistics. Uh, oh, sorry, heavy shells. Two powder heavy cat ballistics. And uh, nose fuse shells. You're already taking torpedoes annoyingly. Newcastle's nearly out. There we go, goodbye to Martin.
HE, the Newcastle Police. Strike torpedo, fantastic. Well, um, the, you sh your ships will pump water. Um, the reason you probably know not seeing it is uh, crew level, because you should always start the campaign with a crap crew, uh, so their damage control is crap. <laughs> um, and the other one is, if the sector is red, they can't pump it. You also need to have your engines available, so... Um, Yeah, uh, you, you, your ship needs time. They they will sit and pump it out. So sometimes, if you if you have a ship disengage and they're not shooting, they will um, they're they're able to pump out more effectively. But uh, if they're if they're under fire, oh goodbye to the Rafton. Well, probably. Actually, I think it was a small turret that went off. Not a big one. Oh, uh, Yorick's fine. Just a few torpedoes. Nothing she can't handle. Shoot the Edgar, please. She's got a much better angle on you. The map. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it is a nice map. Uh, I don't know actually, but no, it's it's not an old map. It just looks old. <laughs> it's it's got all the modern uh, borders on it. The Edgar is not a wise move. Fire one more at it, and then we'll swap. No, we're gonna swap actually. Swap now. Do do. I I like pronouncing it Yorick thing because it sounds like from Hamlet. I know it's I know it's just the. The Germanic way of spelling York. <laughs> Look at them just turning their ass. Such an annoying thing that the AI will just do continuously. Like they they will turn so that you, they are, and they're really good at doing it. Uh, angled in advance. I mean, it makes sense. It's just they are very good at doing it. Oh dear. I think the Grafton might be done for. Yeah. Yeah, they're just so good at doing it, and they, yeah, they'll spin on the spot to prevent you from getting a good shot.
Mm -hmm. <laughs> fire it fire everything and anything button um i mean if you if you leave the ship alone it will do that it will it will pick targets itself um for each gun system not just mains and secondaries um which the player can't do um but yeah it won't split fire like you can't have a and b and an x turret firing at different targets for instance which is something that ships could could and did do it's um, not very often because it wasn't always the best idea Mm -hmm. Yes, the Edgar. Not long for this realm. And with that, down goes another British squadron. Mm -hmm. What I would like to see, though, is the ability to fire secondaries both sides. So you can, like, casements, for instance, you can shoot out both sides at once. That'd be cool. Light damage to the York, or York, or whatever. Why are we still losing 10 transports? It's ridiculous. Um, Three months. That's annoying, because it, it took a torpedo. And we have the Hanover taking on the Pandora and the Superb. Light cruisers. <laughs> secondary guns. Yeah. If you could do that with secondary guns on a transport convoy, that would be quite funny. Um, yeah, firing everything everywhere, all like targeting each individual gun at a different transport. Uh, light cruisers are an annoyance. So I'm quite happy to uh, splat them. Uh, yes, I believe warships in this period, uh, Kalan did. So each gun would have its own dedicated crew. It wasn't like an Age of Sail ship where you would have uh, the gun crews on, say, the starboard side, fire the guns and then run over and then fire the guns on the port side um, when they were double firing. Um uh, or anything like that. It's uh, yeah, e e each because you, you you don't want crews having to move around during the battle inside the ship. So yeah, each each gun turret would have a crew, that, and it would be their turret. Because unlike an age of sail ship. So if this was an age of social ship, this was a gun deck here. Right? There, there, there's no no bulkheads on an age of social ship, so you can just run from one side to the other. But of course, on a one ship like this, you definitely have well, probably a, a bulkhead running down the length of the ship, um, and there would definitely be you know doors and bulkheads and, which should be shut <laughs> if if you're in a battle. Um, so yeah, you do, you definitely don't want gun crews running around. Man, other guns. Some excellent shots. Excellent. Doing very nicely with that lead light cruiser. Unless you're a British battle cruiser, harsh, <laughs> but probably fair. <laughs> they still they still had the bulkheads. Uh, just weren't great at closing the doors. Um, <laughs> Don't worry about that one. Focus on the superb. Nice shot. Five inch gun. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Oh, 
here. It's gonna be bad for the superb's health. I reckon she's gonna fire in a second. That's why I'm remembering. Yep, there we go. Do, 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 do. Yep, two class navy. Uh, no messing around <laughs> doing weird things when you're playing a campaign this this, this difficult. Um, there's no real need for more classes, they wouldn't do anything useful. Maybe when if if I get some text, but uh, I doubt I'll be able to build anything before the campaign ends. Good, that should sink her. I oh, know she's still got one engine out, one engine left. That'll sink her though. Yeah, I might be able to build a destroyer, but um, yeah, it's it's legendary difficulty, and if a destroyer gets killed, it is going to punish me severely. So, I'm quite happy just having capital ships everywhere, blasting the crap out of the uh, the Royal Navy and the French if they make an appearance. Cruiser's gone. Very good. It's very good. Uh, the V1. Oh, yes. She was an amazing ship. I, every time I do a... Particularly if I do German campaigns, there's always some absolute memeing nonsense. Uh, right. Let's move all these to kill. That's why my power projection's back, because they're all sitting in the Baltic. Um, I wish there was a way of seeing... Which uh, which ports can repair your ships? Because they built these all over here. So I kind of think, oh, that's the home port. That's where they'll go back to. And if you look at the fleet tab, it does say uh, here, you know, it's like, oh, Kiel. And it's like, uh, no. <laughs> Don't go to Kiel. <laughs> Just repair over here. Um, yeah, it would be really cool to see where you can repair your ships. Uh, why your ships are going all the way back here. To, I, I understand why you would go back here to repair, but you know, oh, by the way, your ship is no longer where you had it stationed. Um, that would be nice. Quality of life thing. Right, let's hit up next turn. Send a trio down to the mid. We, we could. Yeah, blockade ends. Woo! Although we still lose 16 transports, which is absolute bollocks. Um... Yeah, we'll just move everybody to Emden. <laughs> like this. And you know what? We're going to move the whole fleet. Whole fleet to Emden. And I know I go over the fleet stationing capability or whatever it is, but I don't care. Um... Oh my good god. Yes, that's what I wanted. That's what we're after. Yeah, come on, Marlborough and Lord Warden. That's a good idea. <laughs> yes, sure. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is the stupidest plan I've ever seen. Look at this. Yes, yes, we'll take on the entire German high seas fleet with two ships. Yes, cunning plan. 
cunning plan indeed. Right. Uh, okay, There's, these three are battle cruiser divisions, so uh, battleship. So there you go. Eight battleships. <laughs> and four battle cruisers. Tight. And that way. And this is going to completely mess up the uh, pathfinding and the setup, but I don't really care. We should have time to sort ourselves out. We're all going to start ramming into each other. And here comes the British battleship. <laughs> yes, pre-battle setup. Let me set my fleet formation before the battle. Please, I would love that as a feature. Oh, no, they're going that way. Another turn the other way. Good buggers. So much maneuvering. running let's after them <laughs> maybe they have realized their mistake It's the only ship not here, actually, hilariously enough. Broadside on to a whole fleet. Not good. Although we seem to be shooting up the Lord Warden. not escaping. <laughs> I know you think you maybe were going to escape, but uh, yeah, not happening. Yeah. <laughs> Can we reschedule it? Yeah, right away. Oh, Lord Warden sinks. Poor old Marlborough. Not far behind, he thinks. Wait, did the uh, wall wouldn't explode? No. Have you seen there's an ammo bit up there for a lot of damage? No, you missed that. Apologies. Finally, there we go. Uh, goodbye to them. <laughs> oh, it's not even fair, is it? Okay, two ships are out. They'll disappear to do something stupid. 
no doubt. Um, yeah, here's the Emden. Uh, here's, here's the Emden. There's the Yorick. Uh, I'm going to move these guys to here. Um, if they will. Hello. Uh, oh, yeah, they've already got an order. That's why. Okay. Uh, next turn, I guess. <laughs> Pretty close battle. Yeah, it's a very close battle. Fight to the end. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Keep feeding your ships two by two <laughs> into the guns. <laughs> why? Why is this a good idea? <laughs> what are you thinking, AI? This is not a clever plan. It is just not. Right. Forwards. I'm not going to bother changing the... Um, uh, d d divisions or anything. Because it's just going to end up being a mess. Just go forwards. Everybody... Stop avoiding things. Enemy in sight. Mine, mine, mine. Yeah. Just, just imagine. Yorick has all the kills. We want the kills. <laughs> Look at that. Goodness me. What's it look like from the lead? Yeah. It's just. Um. We need my brown pants, yeah. Well, here she is. Bravely uh, fighting. A very, very, very brave slash foolish uh, cruiser. No mercy. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Oh you know, dear. I can. I can sense a surrender. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Overthrown. Britain. Revolution. <laughs> oh dear. We have won. Congratulations to Germany. Yes. Glorious victory on a legendary campaign. 
1920 with build restrictions. So, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, never fought the Italians. Right, let's have a look. Um, one year, two months. I wish I... Yeah. <laughs> we sunk eight battleships from the British and another one from the French. So nine total. Wow. Uh, four battle cruisers, all of which were British. 14 heavy cruisers, 20 light cruisers, 25 destroyers. For a total of 889... 1,381 tonnes. That is, that is a lot of shipping to go to the bottom. And uh, we built just over 500,000 tonnes ourselves. Um, yeah, that is pretty devastating. 55 ships of the British completely sunk. And I think they are having some bankruptcy issues because they're, they're back up to 56 ships and they were building 40 the last time I checked. So, um, yeah, that that's that's... <laughs> That's a lot of lot, a lot of damage, a lot of damage. Yikes! <laughs> Look, oh my god, just seeing that. Crew lost. Us eight hundred and twenty-one. Enemy forty-nine thousand four hundred and four. Yeesh. And yeah, we lost transports. That was partly my fault because I didn't realise I had a bunch of ships sitting over in the Baltic. And they should have been in the North Sea. Uh, York, 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 yeah, absolute MVP. Uh, absolute MVP. Uh, it, it always says minor victory. It always says minor victory. Um, at the moment, that's just automatic. Um, uh, it never says anything else. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty good. Naval Prestige, 187.2. That's, that's pretty good. Uh, that is pretty good. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, those of you watching on YouTube, um, and another campaign comes to an end, and uh, I'll see you again for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.